Hey guys, so then Yusuf here, and today we will be doing something a little bit more French. Uh, this actually everyone's familiar with quiche. In the Philippines, we usually have them in like small little tartlets, but the traditional French quiche Lorraine is basically in a bigger pie and has a lot, a lot of eggs. We'll be using uh, bacon for this recipe, milk, cornstarch, lots of cheese, gruyere, emmental, and cheddar, and um, some onions, spices, heavy cream, and puff pastry. So if you have time and the patience, you can make your own puff pastry. But I have the time, but I don't have the patience. So we have uh, frozen puff pastry. Uh, very easy, let's start by frying our bacon. In France, we have the lard, lardon. So they really come in small pieces and that's what we use. So we're gonna put this onto the stove and while the bacon is cooking, we are gonna chop our onions. So we hit two birds with one stone. So basically, um, our bacon is kind of done. We are gonna remove it and dry it into a paper towel so that the oil soaks out. And we are gonna use the oil from the bacon to cook the onions. But if there's a lot of oil, throw it out and just keep maybe like a tablespoon, enough just to cook the onions, because that's a lot of oil. So we're just going to wait till the onions soften a little bit and when they do, we can mix it in with the bacon and then set it aside and let it cool while we prepare our egg mixture. Okay, let's turn that off. Let that cool, and now we are going to prepare the egg mixture, which is quite simple. We will need one and a half tablespoon of cornstarch. So that's one. You are going to dissolve the cornstarch with a little bit of milk first, so it doesn't clump up. Okay, so once the cornstarch is dissolved in the milk, you can go ahead and add on your one and a half cup of milk. One and a half cup of cream, yes. That is why quiche Lorraine tastes so good. And then you will need eight eggs. Yes, plus one egg yolk. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we're gonna break all these eggs. One. Plus one egg yolk. That is it. And we're going to add our last yolk. Boom. Mix that. So, into this, we will add our shredded gruyere and shredded. Um, et mental. Okay, so that's all done. Now you're gonna add your pepper again to your liking. Some salt. Some cayenne pepper or any chili flakes you have and some nutmeg. So nutmeg is a spice that's really good with anything that's cheese or even cakes. So maybe a pinch and a half of nutmeg. So basically we are gonna prepare the dough. It's super simple because it's frozen. Um, and then later on we're gonna put the bacon into, uh, the bacon and the onion into this mix and then you can find these anywhere. The stand, sand piece. And you can also find recipes online on how to make them yourself. <laughs> We're gonna do it the French way. Uh -huh. It does work. Put it in. 
poke the dough so that it kind of doesn't rise too high or flatten too much. We're gonna pour, uh, put the bacon and onion and pour our batter. Now guys, what we're going to do is uh, top this with a bit of cheddar cheese and then pop it into the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes depending on your oven and how deep your skillet is. So our quiche is done. Um, it depends on how hot your oven is. I guess it can go from 15 to 30 minutes, also depending on how thick uh, your pan is. It's time to cut our quiche. There you guys have it, the traditional French quiche Lorraine. So it's nice and, and puffy, lots of eggs, obviously. You could have this for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Literally, you can't go wrong with eggs, bacon, and cheese. This is nice to do when you have a lot of friends coming over instead of pizza nights, have quiche Lorraine night. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you guys want any type of easy recipe to do at home, I am not so um, let me know on the blog and I will try and come up with something simple for you guys. So again guys, reminder, Solan Yusuf here. Um, if you like my videos, then I'm happy that you like it. If you don't, then you don't. I'm not gonna force you, but I do hope you like it. And if you do, please subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Just everything fun and under the sun, nothing too serious, but a lot of reality.